President Trump's response to Jamal Khashoggi's disappearance and reported death has raised new questions about the business relationship between the president and Saudi Arabia. The president tried to put the issue to rest earlier this week when he tweeted, quote, for the record, I have no financial interests in Saudi Arabia or Russia, for that matter. His son, Eric, repeated that point during an appearance on Fox News this morning. There's zero investments in Russia. There's zero investments in Saudi. We have absolutely nothing to do with those countries. The president's latest financial disclosure form did not list any interests in Saudi Arabia, but he does have a history of doing business with the kingdom. The Associated Press reports that in the 1990s, a Saudi prince, now fallen out of favor with the government, helped save Trump from bankruptcy by buying his yacht for $20 million. A few years later, that prince joined with other investors to buy the Plaza Hotel in New York City from Trump for $325 million. The AP also reports that in 2001, the Saudi government bought the entire 45th floor of Trump World Tower across the street from the United Nations for $12 million. And in 2015, the Washington Post reported that Trump had registered eight shell companies in Saudi Arabia. According to the Post, they were all dissolved by the end of 2016. And then there's all the things Trump has said himself while out on the campaign trail. Saudi Arabia, and I get along great with all of them. They buy apartments from me, they spend 40 million, 50 million. Am I supposed to dislike them? I like them very much. The Washington Post also reports that the Saudis have increased their business at Trump hotels in Washington, New York City, and Chicago since Trump became president, hoping to increase revenue at all of those properties. All of this has prompted a group of Democratic senators to write to the president, demanding that he and his children disclose information about their business ties with Saudi Arabia.